Hello. Uh, oh boy, hold on. Let me get the. Hold on. Let me get the. I have a. There we go. An air conditioner working. Okay, so I hopefully you can hear me. Uh, one, two. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it's good. So let's try making a supercapacitor. What it is, it um, basically involves with uh, electrical. Well, it's not electrical tape. It's reflective tape. There's already three people here. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it involves a, a, like reflective tape, which is also conductive. And it's like, well, because it's tape, one side is conductive and one side isn't. And I have like paper which I did cut. So if I were to put it in a straight line like this, like that, can you hear me? Hold on. The thing is, I don't even know if I can. Oh, let me get everything set up. Well, let me. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about the sound. It's the, it's the chair. Sorry about that. So yeah, let's make a, let's make a super capacitor. Sorry about the camera quality. It's pretty bad camera quality for the price. $15. Okay. We need to do this. We need to do that. Basically like that. But we can't cut it or else it's not gonna work. So it needs to be one long piece connecting to the three pieces of paper. So Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you for the like. So, one long uh, aluminum tape. Um, how am I going to tape this? Especially on camera. I got myself a new microphone, by the way. Well, you, you probably hear it. You Most likely you can hear it. It's a blue snowball. Let me show you. It's pretty good. It's high quality, most likely. There's no like humming in the background, hopefully. I actually didn't check. I should have checked. Um, yeah, so. Let's do this. So I need the aluminum tape as not rugged as possible because this, this is not going to work. But I'm still going to use it because I'm not going to waste tape. Even though, yes, I do have a lot of it. It's on an angle. Not really a good idea to have a capacitor on an angle, especially if it's going to be connected to about 20 volts. About 24 volts, actually. Okay, so this is the first part done, well, except of the not straight pieces. So we can just get a ruler of any kind and then just
Yeah, so. Uh, I'm, you can't really see this because, well, the camera doesn't really do well. If I did have another camera, I would show you, but because I don't, I can't. So putting another piece of paper is going to be the trickiest part because... Well, you need everything to be aligned properly. the paper because I've, I've yeah, put it incorrectly. Don't rip the paper. So I have a project that I'm working on. So I have a project which involves Makes sense. Okay, not really working, but you know, still does. Okay, so that's the second paper done. Now we just need to need to straighten it straighten it out. You guys can talk if you, well the yeah, you this you guys can talk. I'll still like be talking, like a commun communication communicating to you guys. So you guys can talk to me. I'll I'll just talk. Yeah. It's not like I'm focused only on this. It's communication is key. It's not really a motto of mine. It's just. It's just a fact. Well, it's not really like a. Never mind. Okay. So I got the second piece of paper done. It was really quick because, well, speed is key. The thing I just realized is I can't really stream outside because, well, I can't bring my computer outside. And for some reason, you can only stream if you have less than 1,000, well, 1,000 subscribers and if you have a computer. If you don't have a computer, good luck getting more subscribers by I have no idea yeah just get good luck getting more subscribers because to get more subscribers you need a stream it's not that I want to get more subscribers it's just I want people to understand how not difficult it is but 
Well, it's not easy yet. Okay. So how do I cut? Well, uh, first things first, I need to Okay, so this is a pretty good cut. Nothing on the other side. And then I have this really long paper. Um, yeah, just don't mind the other side and everything will be fine. So, let's smooth everything out because as you can see of these little spots. You can't make it perfectly smooth because we're only human. At least I am. Hopefully. Okay. So, what... Okay, so my next project, if I finish this in time to show you what my next project will be. My next project is, that is really smooth. Look at that, it's almost like a mirror. Um, let me show you. So I call it, I call it SASV, which V can stand for V, like V or five. I call it SAS5 because it sounds cool, because there's a number. I need to sneeze, hold on. <laughs> mm. Okay, so SAS-5, or Semi-Solar Autonomous, Semi-Autonomous Solar Vehicle, that's what it stands for. Here is the sketch. Here's the solar panels. The motor con controlling it where the sun is located then this is an mppt controller these are two lead acid batteries arduino uno motor controller uh camera module gps then this is a a temperature meter wi-fi then connects to a, a website and this is a power logger to me it actually shows like i memorized the whole thing but to me it actually shows it like the opposite and upside down so I need to guess which way. And as you can see right here, I didn't memorize that, so I need to read it. Uh, solar panels follow the sun. I already said that. Uh, power logger goes to website, so I can see how much of power it's drawing, how much of everything is consuming everything, and so on. Has Wi-Fi integration, which I already told you that. Has camera that I can see in website. Yeah, everything is going to be based on website so if i'm home and the robot is about 500 miles away well then it's 500 miles away i can't really do anything about that so well i will be able to see through wi-fi because the robot itself is going to have wi-fi or sasv which solar autonomous semi-autonomous solar vehicle trademarked yeah. So let's continue with the with the supercapacitor. So this is the film. I'm not going to use a lot of it because I don't think I need to use a lot. Will I? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So let's get alligator clips. Or alligator clips on these, but this is a, a voltmeter. So let's measure it. First things first, let's measure the resistance because you always need to find out what is the internal resistance of the, the resistance is how much, it's like a maze. How long does it need to take to finish it?
So it is actually two ohms, which is pretty good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that's pretty good for a neural capacitor, except this is going to be way less, less powerful. We need like a, a metal, a metal thing. Ooh, three people. Yo, what is up? Uh, nothing much, just making this. I mean, I've already kind of made it. So how is the microphone? It's actually pretty good now. Like you can hear me well. Because, well, I've, I've changed the microphone. I actually bought this one instead of making my own. So let's turn this to the battery function. Nice. Yeah. And the thing is, it has more surface area. It, okay, so like this, it has the most surface area, but we need to make it compact. So how do we do that? Square? No. Circle? Yes. We need to make this a circle. How? So the first prong will be the plus. No. We need one on the other side too. I forgot about that. Well, we have some more in, more fun things. Then, what you're hearing in the background is actually my uh, Discord. So this is reflective tape. It's going to be, hopefully, better than aluminum foil. Because aluminum foil... Ooh, two likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the, well, one like, but two in total. I'm counting the collective, not the individual. It's like a teacher. Uh, no, I'm not. Well, no. Yeah, I'm counting the total. Total amount. Okay, so I need to do this carefully, because if I don't and I mess this up, then I'll need to cut the, restart the whole thing. Okay. Okay, not so okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, this is bad. I can't really show the camera because if I did have two cameras, I would be able to show you guys. One would be like right here showing like this way. So what you got, what I see, you guys see. That would be cool. But I can't do that because I don't have another camera. I can't make another camera because... That takes a lot of time. Like, every pixel. This camera is the best I got for the value of it, which was not a lot, but as I said, I don't have a lot of money. Did I say that? Well, I now I said I don't have a lot of money. And in this case, money is the issue. I just... 37 subscribers. Ooh. Nice. Wait. You? You got... Oh, you... Oh. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I can't really see the 
the I can't really see because my phone is on the ground and my computer is streaming, so I can't really leave the page without it going like, oh no, your stream has died. And I'm like, what? Yeah, so that's why I can't really leave the page because it already happened again. Hello. So what, actually, I was just about to say, what have you guys been doing this quarantine? But it, it's been boring all around. Some workouts here and there, but mostly just staying at home and streaming. Yeah, streaming is basically all I have for sanity. I guess. I mean, it's not really that I don't have friends, which I do. No. I mean, yes. Okay, so what counts as friends? So let's let's talk while Reddit is cool. I didn't get it yet, but I want to get it. There is some subreddits that I have been following through YouTube. Not a good idea. Takes a really long time, but uh, I forgot what they are because it's YouTube and YouTube is like, hey, you can't do that. So they just delete the videos basically. And I'm like, aw. So yeah, I want to get Reddit. Reddit. Okay, so let's complete the final thing, and hopefully I can shock some people. Scratch that. Hopefully I can shock myself, because, well, I don't have any friends. That's the issue. Well, it's not the issue that I don't have any friends. It's just I don't have any, any test subjects, I guess. Well, it's not really the... Okay. Never mind, I was going to say something, but then I, uh, never mind. It's not really test subjects, it's just people who I know that they're going to trust me, that I don't blow them up. There we go. Uh, what is a supercapacitor? I just got here. Okay, so a supercapacitor, so for example, cap okay, battery. Batteries are a type of a form of storing energy. They can store energy in voltmeters. They can store energy in phones, which is on the ground. They can store energy in mice. They can store energy in drills. Uh, yeah, and a supercapacitor. You can charge extremely quickly, but they discharge like that also well it's like a battery so you know how like batteries you charge them up very slowly like lithium batteries they explode a lot that's why i have them next to my really hot computer that's a bad idea uh yeah so batteries charge up really slowly and a super capacitor is like 10 times that so they charge up extremely quickly discharge slow I like your profile pic. It's is funny. Thank you. It's something like that. <laughs> um, huh. Why is it redacted? What happened? Who did it? Who is who YouTube? I mean, what happened in YouTube that was like, hey, your profile picture is funny. And it's like, what? They said that? How could they? You can't say that on stream. It's like, what? Oh, yeah. So last stream, uh, if you remember, like, 
about a month ago if you if, if you were here i got so i got um the stream ended abruptly because it was like hey you you're playing somebody's song and i'm like what that, there's no way because i just uploaded the song it was with bass and then it's like oh no 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 you, you you're copying songs i'm like what who show me and then they're like no more messages uh, and then where was i going with this i was going somewhere i was trying to i was going somewhere and then i just forgot my train of thought train of thought I mean, blood travels at a rate of 32 miles per hour, so it's not really a train. It's more like a, a slow car or a fast bike. Well, not really a fast bike. It's just a bike ride. So, let's continue. So now that I'm done both of the sides, I can measure... As you can see, one side is here. I mean, there is some parts that I should be afraid of. Like, let me show you. Like these two. You see, this side, this is connected to this. Even though, if I connect a 12-volt battery... Sorry if that was loud. But, that's what will happen to me if I don't uh, like remove this. You might be wondering, what? why will you explode? Because... Because there's such low resistance between those two sides, that is going to be like, it's going to be like a slap in the face to me if I forget. So I'm going to remove it right now. Okay. I mean, streaming is pretty cool and all, but. You gotta admit, if you make a mistake in any stream, that would be pretty bad. Hopefully, I didn't make any mistakes. Well, you can, you can, there's always gonna be mistakes, and there's always flaws. Even in the right answers, there's always flaws. Like, you can always cut down time, batteries, circuits. Phones. There's always some time to lose. You can never win. Okay, so now I have both sides. So the plus is this, minus is this. So let's let's just put it on both sides. So the plus and minus. I mean, sharpies will not affect anything. So let's write plus minus. There we go. All right. So both sides are there. And now, let's measure. So if we were to, let's get some static electricity. So it's pretty easy to get. Just rub your feet against the ground. Let me show you. So if I were to do that, connect both of the sides, both of the, both of these to my hands, I can just clip it on to my hands, and then you'll be able to read, see, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.8 volts, as you can see, it's going through my body. But if I were to, hold on, I was going down. Yep, yep, there it is. I don't have a lot of space, but you can, you can, you understand, right? Static, uh, static electricity. Yeah. So let's do the same exact thing, but with measuring. 
the capacitor, or super capacitor in this case. So it's put on 20 volts. It's For right now, it doesn't matter which side is plus and which side is minus. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot. I'm actually measuring it from here, so. 30, 0 0.5, that was the maximum. So 0 0.5 is a lot. Like, I'm actually surprised that I got that much. I'm actually surprised. So what if we were to charge this up? So this, oh, okay, so this was connected to my body and to the ground, so it wouldn't show anything. But what if we were connect a battery to it? But that's before we actually can connect it to the, whatever we were trying to connect it to, because we need to isolate one of the sides and then roll it up into a ball or a sphere, a cylinder. Do you have a big project that you would like to work on or to do like a little experiment and stuff like this? Do you have a big project that you like to work on or do just, or do just do little experiments and stuff like that? Oh no, I have big projects. I just like doing, so it's like, a plot like a storyline but there's like the sidelines which is like the little projects and the big story plot or the big the big story is this so this is what I call SAS 5 or SASV which is semi autonomous solar vehicle so these are solar panels which are connected to a motor which can control which way is the Sun then this is an MPPT controller which can regulate how much volts it's outputting the solar panels. Then the MPPT goes to the batteries, which are two lead acid batteries, so it's the big bulky batteries. Arduino connects. Arduino connects to it, and then this connects to it. Arduino connects to a temperature sensor, GPS, Wi-Fi integration with um, camera and a website, and this is a power logger which connects to Wi-Fi so I can see through my phone. If I were to go to like Israel, for example, I don't know why that's the first thing I thought, but if I were to go to Israel, I would still be able to see where this car is, and this are, this is a motor controller for, for motors to go to Arduino, to go to Wi-Fi, which is semi-autonomous which means I can control it myself or it can control itself. I'm not done. I, I, I'm just, I just wanna, wanted to explain that. If I get a question, I, I'm going to answer it sometimes, most of the time. I got to go. Okay. I guess I will see you later. Well, I'll still be here. Uh, I, I'll still be here except... If I'm not, then I won't, but that's the... Okay. So, hopefully you understand how it works. But if you don't, well, I can under I can explain even more, like even in, de in even more detail which will have to be me coding. So that's the detail, coding. It will be pretty tricky though, because coding is pretty difficult in itself, no matter what. Even if you don't like coding, you will still have to. Well, I will have to. I don't like coding that much, even though it is fun. It is actually pretty fun to code. So, I will be back there, right there. I got the main idea. Okay. Ask me any questions. 
I'll hopefully answer them. I'll just be back there. Hopefully you can hear me. Well, I can be louder. That sounds cool. See how quick I am? Wow. My room is extremely dirty. So. So, bag, stairs, you know, stairs, uh, monitor, keyboard, box, another box. Um, there's another box behind it. There's some foam boards. There's a trash bin full of actually important stuff, which I don't use that as a trash can, but you know. I need a new chair. Sorry for the sounds. I'll just cover them with screams. My screams. Well, okay, I shouldn't have said that. Like if, you, okay, never mind. So, mm -hmm. so you might be you might be wondering why do you have clear tape? The reason is I need to isolate the two sides as best as I can, and clear tape is pretty clear. And because it's clear, I can see if I've isolated it or not. I can see it poorly, but yeah. I think I'll need to cut this. Okay, so clear tape, good, good at all, but now I need to use a lot of it. Well, the reason is because I need to, I need to insulate one of the sides, just one. It's not, it's not a lot. It's just. I think the plus. Now, where's the scissors? Because as you know, clear tape always, you you can never get a good line of clear tape. The clear tape just fell. Hopefully, it won't ruin everything. Like it always does. Let me bring the camera up. There we go. Camera's poor quality. The sound is pretty good, but it makes up for it. The sound makes up for it, makes up for the camera. Do you play any video games to pass time? No, I do not. I mean, hopefully, I, I mean, hopefully, I if I do get into video games. It's most likely because it's going to be some revolutionary, revolutionary new thing. Like a revolutionary new video game or something. I don't, I don't know how video games really work. But I'm probably not going to like them. Unless I can create my own video game, which I have done before. Well, once, but then I was like, nah. <sighs> Hold on. Will I be able to? Yeah, I've... it was using Unreal Engine. That's what the thing's called. So, Unreal is a... Unreal is a pretty good software for modeling and game development. You can also create like apps with it, but I, I didn't really think of that before. But yeah, um, game development. Pretty cool idea. 24 hour stream, creating a game. Why does it have to be? Well, No Man's Sky is an open world universe with 
with like 18 and 16 million randomly generated solar systems and planets. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know the game itself, but that's a big number. Like, randomly generated. Hmm. That is pretty cool. I mean, if if I were to make a game... I mean, doesn't it also, like, games... Um, I was about to say games these days, but technically, yes. Games these days, like a... Need a lot of processing power and computing power, and I don't have that. I only have a one graphics card, which is barely viable. Like uh, it's a 1050 Ti. It's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, which I want an upgrade, but nobody wants to buy it because, well, for the price and for the Nobody wants to buy it at all. Like graphics, graphics cards are good and all, but I only have a Core 2 Duo as a processor. And if you know processors, that's not good. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM though, so that's good. That is good. 16 gigabytes of DDR4. That is actually that 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 cost me the same exact thing as everything in the in my PC. The case cost me fifty dollars. The power supply cost me fifty dollars. The the RAM cost me fifty dollars. Except the graphics card. The graphics card cost me almost two hundred. Set me back a lot. If you don't know money, I mean, if you don't know money, get uh, get yourself an average computer. Build it yourself, though. Always build a computer yourself. Do not buy a pre-built computer. I've made that mistake before. I've tried to sell a pre-built computer, not buying one. Because I, I built myself a computer, and then... Uh, And then, yeah, it just went poorly. So, tell me if the lights, this light and this light are annoying. I, I can move them. You want me to move those lights? Because they seem annoying. On camera, they seem annoying. I don't really know how, how you guys see them. Nah. Okay. Fair enough. Lights are not that annoying. Well, as, well, these lights are not that annoying. Don't move. Well, I'm not telling you guys not to move. I'm telling the tape not to move because it's already messed up part of the process. So, uh, sometimes I just, I just hate this tape. No, hate is a strong word. I, I dislike the, the, the product's uh, tactics and tactile amount of sound it creates. I just don't like how it's like, hey, 
This is why I like electric tape more. Even though, yes, it is a bit, a bit smaller. Yes, it is a bit smaller, but hey, you don't get sound. Like, minimal sound. Okay. I like random generated like games. I don't really play games, but I like the random generation of the games. So if I were to make a game, which is most likely, I would want to make a random generated game. Not like one of those, oh look, it's a random generated clicker clicker game, like cookie clicker, which is not randomly generated, but Still, Tetris is really fun, though. Like, I would play Tetris on stream for hours. Tetris is is the game, especially my... Well, yeah, it is the game. I, how much would that solar vehicle be worth? Well, I'm not really selling the solar vehicle, but if it were to, like, okay, I'm not going to count maintenance costs because that's already going to bunch it up to about $500 because to fix it, you would need to go into the programming, going back into the so on and so forth. So solar panels, they're pretty cheap, like, in total, I would say, like, 100 no, 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 no. $80 of solar panels. But it does look like it's a little bit of solar panels because in the photo, it's like, oh, look, it's only a little bit. But here, let me show you. Let, let me show you the solar panels. Just, uh, yeah, I'll just bring in the solar panels. I'll need to be careful with them because, well, they're solar panels. They can break almost immediately so okay here's one here's two so these are this is uh, well i have two of them but here's three so this is one this is two and then this is three. So it's gonna be powered like this. Well, almost like that. Yeah. So it's pretty big. It just seemed like it had a lot of components so I thought it might be expensive. No, no, no it's not expensive. It's, I'm using my own money to buy it. I don't have any money. Even if I were to set up donation, nobody would donation. Nobody would donation. Nobody would donate to me. I can set up like one of those. Um, uh, what's it called? Like uh, those things. It's like, hey, give me money so I can get this product going, and uh, it's totally not fake. Even though this is this isn't because I'm using my own money, so. So, yeah, that's it's like one of those things. I forgot what they're called, though. Hmm. The Arduino is like... I haven't really gone into the money aspect of it. I'm just like, hey, piling everything together, finding the right motors, uh, the right speed of the... I mean, I literally have zero money, but... I would donate a couple dollars. No, 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 no. You don't need to. I have also a little bit of money. Uh, it's in a bag somewhere. <laughs> hmm. It's in a bag. Just saying that, it's like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's in a bag. 
Uh, it's okay. So why it seems like it's a lot of money is because of the coding aspect. It's like, hey, why, why, how much will this cost? Because it's going to be semi-autonomous through. Did you rob a place? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> it would be funny though if I, if it were true. Um, <clears throat> don't get me banned, YouTube. Okay, so yeah, it would be fun though if it were like. Okay, so, yeah, I should do, like, one of those, like, challenge videos or challenge streams, it's like, if I say okay, or if I say some other thing, I get either a punishment or I don't say another word or something, I don't know, but, yeah, I, I have no idea. I'm such a great creator, am I? I want to turn on my AC, but um, I'm not sure that's such a great idea on my part because, well, my AC is pretty loud. And if, hold on, let me get my phone so I can check how loud it is. Well, I'm going to go onto YouTube and then turn on the AC, but what you guys are going to be hearing is what I'm going to be also be hearing. So, okay. Alrighty then. There we go. Wait, will you guys be able to hear me? Oh yeah, that's... It seems bad. At, okay. I'm close to hitting 400 videos on my channel. Oh wow, that's a lot of videos. That's actually a lot of videos. Because... <laughs> that, yeah, that's a lot of videos. Because on my channel, I only have about 100 some videos. But on... I I can hear you fine. That is good. So my hair seems it's poofy. My hair is poofy, but it's it's like a what's it called? Like an afro or something like that. Like an afro. Okay. So let's continue on with the with the with what I would without with, with with what I was doing. Yeah. So I've been starting to do the um like you know like those oh let me uh, I can't do that because they're gonna get me banned. Are they? Aren't they? <laughs> I guess I'll have to recreate it. So I'm I'm trying to get into uh Hungarian or like. Mongolian throat singing. It's like the. Something like that. I don't. Did I just do it? I have no idea. Did I learn? No, that's the first time. <laughs> I don't know if I just did it or not, but hey. I've I've heard like this video. It's like the ding 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 ding, and it's like the is there's like seven point some million views on there. It's pretty popular. Sounds great. Thank you. What else? 
point. I'll just I'll just say the artist or the YouTube creator. Yeah, I'll just say the the YouTube channel. Hopefully, they don't get me blocked and kill my. Uh, oh, I'll just talk over it so you guys can hear it barely, and I'll just be talking. Yeah, I mean it's not really a good idea, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, guys? Ten point, uh, five point eight million views on there. It's pretty popular on YouTube standards, so it better not get me blocked. Ah, uh, yes, advertisement about throat singing. Exactly what I want to learn, but not today because where is my headphones? Oh, there they are. So Hungarian or Mongolian or Hungarian or whichever throat singing there is, I'm trying to learn it. It's like, um, okay, so this is what it sounds like because, well, it's the things and I'm talking over it because I don't want my channel to get blocked because it's also my main channel that I stream videos on. So this is what I want to learn at the same time as, yeah, so I'm trying not, I'm trying to speak at the same time. Just don't pay attention to my voice and I'll try to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm just trying to pass the time and... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to learn. Hopefully you heard that. Okay. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as you can hear, my voice is pretty deep. And because I have a deep voice, it's... Uh, people say, hey, do you sing? And I'm like, no, you should start singing. And I'm like, why? And they're like, because you're good at singing. And I'm like, I am? Bro, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, this... Listen, this is actually the first day and the second time I've tried this. So, <sighs> the, that was the second time I tried it. But, um, what else was I trying to say at the same time? Oh, yes, yeah, so there's three types of throat singing, which I, for some reason, went into the YouTube loophole of like, hey, what is throat singing? What's your vocal range? And I've been going down. And I've actually, I sung, I can sing in the margin of, what was his name? Uh, like C mace, like on the first chord, I can sing the C key. So I can sing in the margin of Frank Sinatra. There we go. The singer Frank, Frank Sinatra, I can sing at the same vocal tone and vocal range there we go but i can sing a little bit lower than him so that's what the name i've remembered so i can sing fly me to the moon let me sing upon the stars let me uh, something a jupiter and mars i forgot the i haven't sung in a really long time so Explains a lot. Not a lot. Fly me to the moon. Let me sing upon the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, oh my hand to do to do to do to do in other words baby kiss me fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore 
you are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Yeah, you get it. Okay. So, now that I know I can sing, or poorly sing, now that I know I can poorly sing, I want to learn how to Hungarian or Mongolian throat sing, because at least it's actually good. Well, not good in the case of me, but good in the case of, oh, you can do it better than singing. Yeah, that's the best part. So that's what I'm learning. Hungarian or Mongolian or whichever Olean singing. <laughs> I want to, okay, so there's the vocal, there's the three, oh yeah, I haven't finished. There's the three types of vocal ranges. There's the middle, there's the high, and there's the low. I should have went low, middle, high. There you go. So I was singing right now is the high, which is. Which you can hear the, the, the tone, which of my, I'm not really whistling. It's not a whistle, but it's like a. Sounds like a whistle, but it's a no. There we go. Okay, so that is the high pitched. What I'm trying to learn is the low pitched, which is like the, it's like using the chest membrane of the something. I haven't really memorized it, but. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm specific. My specific goal is in Mongolian Hungarian throat singing, but most likely it's getting to that deep aspect of it. So whatever, whatever I'm trying to achieve, hopefully I can do it. Most likely, I can do it. And if I can't, well, I'm not going to give up. Because giving up is for... I was about to say... I was about to say giving up is for losers, but that's what giving up is. You lose. No matter what, if you give up, you, you lose no matter what. So... You work for it, no matter if you lose or win. At least you still have the experience that you gained from that fight, or from the, yeah, from the. You gained the experience that you wouldn't have you wouldn't have gained if you didn't fight for it. Fight for anything. For example, I didn't know how to wheelie until I started training. It took me three days, but still. There were some ups, there were some downs. People were like, hey, give up. I'm like, no. I mean, they were joking. I know, because one of them was like, yeah, I was just joking. And I'm like, oh, okay, haha, ha, funny, funny. But the rest were not so jokingly saying, hey, give up. So what I did was not give up. And I achieved the goal of, well, I haven't really achieved the goal yet, but if I were to achieve the goal, then uh, I have a lot of projects. I actually don't know when school starts. That's the thing. We've... Yeah, so I don't really know when school starts. Is it September? Most likely. Actually, most likely is September because September is when... Se September? September is when usually school starts. As I last time remember. Mm-hmm. 
In other words, hold my hand. In other words. Okay, so now, as you can see, this was the laid out sheet of metal. And now, we charge it up. You might be wondering, but hey, isn't that dangerous? Yes, it is. It is dangerous. It is extremely dangerous. So do not do this at home. I'm saying it like I care. I mean, I do care. Don't do this at home, guys. YouTube, you better pay attention. I'm saying don't do this at home because you should. I mean, you can do it. Okay, so. So let's charge it up because, well, what's the worst that can happen, right? So we have some lithium ion batteries, which can, there's a possibility of boom booms, and, well, boom booms meaning explosion. And. Let's just charge it up. I don't think these have a polarity, so no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, we've connected it up. Oh, yeah, of course. How could I forget? So now let's unplug it from the battery and read out what it says on here. Wow, it's actually working for a change. I mean... It's always worked before. I've never had any mistakes. Who said that? Okay, where's the... Oh, there it is. This is the doo-doo tape, which is bad, because that's why I call it doo-doo tape. Makes sense. I wish I had a, a multimeter. Like an actual good multimeter, not these $5 multimeters. Okay. I think that's enough tape. So we've actually completed the capacitor in about an hour. It looks bad. Most likely is bad. But it still keeps in battery. It's like a battery. So, okay, this is a battery. Battery. Um, so, let me show you. So, I have this battery, and it's not connected to anything because, as I can see, the plus and minus. And let's connect the plus. In here, okay, to the minus on the outside there we go so it's connected up and now if i were to all right so now i unplug the battery from both sides and then read what it says on here. Hold on. Wait, slipped out. Zero point one volt. That's good. As you can see, it keeps in battery, keeps in charge. It's not a good capacitor. Never said it was good, but still pretty good. It actually keeps keeps a really good charge. Yeah, so I was thinking of a stream, like it's going to be really boring, but hey, who wants to waste their time? How did you learn about all of this stuff? Actually, my father taught me it. So my father, shout out to you, um, he was like, hey, well, he actually haven't, hasn't taught me how to make a capacitor. 
but he's like in the beginning he was like um hold on yeah okay so he gave me an led he gave he gave me an led and he gave me a battery connected it up it glowed well this is not gonna glow but you you know what i mean because well yeah, he was like, wow, how do, how do you do that? He was like, plus minus, go to plus minus. And now, uh, actually, I don't know how I learned this. I don't read from books. I don't. experience some great things about tasers not the tasers you're thinking of it is the tasers you're thinking of but just from the youtube algorithm so i guess you were just born with this knowledge yes i guess i was i guess i guess so i don't know so, hmm. what do you think about a stream of charging a battery? I know it might seem dumb. Hold on, hold on. It might seem dumb, but it is fascinating how you charge a battery. So, first things first, you have pure lead and a lead uh, type of oxide. Lead is minus, and then lead some sort of... Op, the, the opposite um, con continuity of lead, uh, which is like, what is the resistance between this and this? That's continuity. And in the in the middle, there's a like a sort of acidic, like acidic liquid. And when the lead acid battery discharges, the acidic liquid turns into H2O or water. And then both sides turn into the byproduct of the acidic liquid. So both of them are just exchanging uh, like cycles of charge. And that's how you can charge an acidic battery, a lead acid battery. Uh, and I have them in there. So I want to make a stream of just charging a battery. Just no sound, charging a battery. Sometimes I can I can come in and just be like, "Yo, what's up, guys? Charging a battery? Yo!" It's not like we're gonna be like one of those twenty-four hour things. It's like, "Yo, if you press like now, you can." It's just gonna charge faster. I wonder if I can actually power an LED through this. I think I can. Let's try it out. So I have a lot of LEDs. So let's get like a blue LED because I think this is a either a blue or red or or white. I don't I don't really know. Okay, so first things first, I need to bend the pins so it makes contact with the with with the capacitor. All right, there you go. Makes contact. A okay. All is good. Das is good. Um, das is fantastisch. Uh, that's also one. Uh, bonjour. No, that's French. Oui, oui. No, that's also French. Uh, hola espanol. There we go. Uh, 
I don't know a lot of Spanish. I don't know any Spanish except Hola Espanol, me llamo es my name. My name is Isaac. Nice to meet you. Um, so, okay. How do you charge a battery? Or how do you charge an LED without blowing it up? Great question. I got the exact same answer for you. We put the minus to the one side, and then we quickly, nope, other way around. Yo, I'm back. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I don't think it's working. It is a battery, technically. But it's a very bad battery, as you know. Of the because you may be like, but why is it a bad battery? Because I didn't really. As of all my streams, I don't plan them. If I were to plan my streams, they would be much better. Well, 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 and actually, like, good. And planned out. So, I don't want to plan out my streams because of that reason. Alright, hold on. Does this even work? So. Yes, it does. Okay. So I'm doing the correct way. Oh. It's actually working. Somewhat, Isaac, just how you know this is Chris. Oh, just so you know this is Chris. Yes, I know. I know this is Chris. Look. Hold on. Look, I've made it work. I made it light up. It's literally a battery. Like, this is all. It looks like a, a, detonate, a detonation device. But hey, a battery. Even it does look weird. Yes, I gotta agree. It does look weird. But you can just say it's paper and aluminum foil. Nobody will question that. Everyone will question that. It's like what is that? What is that? What is that? What is this? What is this? Hmm? Hmm? It's like, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna also go. Actually, nah, I'm just gonna stay here. Because, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna do a stream about just charging batteries. That's what that'll be fun. I got it. 
I, I know what I'll do. So here's the thing. That is a webcam, and I can move it. Let me show you. I just messed it up, but you know what I'll do? I'll tape it to the side of the computer, move everything away from the desk, and put the batteries on there, put the charger, the voltmeter on there. So then it will work, hopefully, and then I can just stream 24, 24 hours without power cut, cutting power, power cutting. Yes. Oh yeah, you guys want to see something cool? So here's a dangerous experiment for you guys. Here is 250 volts. You see that 250 right, right here? So this is 20, 200, 250. There's barely any difference between 200 and 250, but you know, I don't know. So usual batteries, right? Usual batteries. You know, a motor can be a generator, so this is a motor slash generator. I actually have two. You know why? Because I'm using the SAS-5 for the... Well, actually, I'm going to be using these for the SAS-5, which is the semi-autonomous solar vehicle. And if I have a drill compared to this... This is the drill motor, wait, the battery drill motor motor drill, there we go. And if I spin this up, it's not going to create anything. But if I leave this like this, you can hear it. It's going to be pretty loud, but I will show you. There we go. Okay. So whatever you're going to read here, that's the volts. So if it shows about 200 volts, you got to be scared because I have the power. Key man. I have the power. Okay. Wait. Did that... This, did, did that... Did, did that just show 700 volts? D 700 volts? Huh? Huh? Yeah. 700? Good thing I didn't touch the terminals. What about AC? I think it's going to block out AC. So AC is alternating current. DC is direct current. It still makes AC, which is from the wall. I can plug this into the wall. So look, this is AC current now. So high voltage. Don't touch. Did that just show a thousand? A thousand volts? What? Hmm? One thousand? Like, from this? No. Really? Okay. Okay. I'm a go. I'm a. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Have a great day, now, morning, afternoon, and midday, whenever you're watching this breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, whatever time is on your end. Peace. Have a great time.